Jesus is our salvation. He's our savior. And we are to live our lives committed to Jesus. This is a commitment to the Lord. Yet when I talk to a lot of men and women who supposedly they walk with the Lord, they believe in God, they have no commitment to Jesus. How can you be born again with no commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ? We are called into God's kingdom so that we can do battle against the devil. That's why we are born again. We are born again so that we can share the truth of God's word and tell people about this precious gift of salvation. Yet, when I talk to most Christians, they're just Christian in name. It's just a church club. That's all it is. We will be in a store parking lot and somebody might pull on the side of us to get out at the store. They'll see our car because the car got scripture on it. And they'll say, hey, I like your car. Yet when you dig a little deeper, you see that they don't even really live for Jesus. They agree with the Lord. They agree with the Bible and what it says about the Lord. But there's no commitment. They're not born again. There's no faithfulness to the kingdom of God. It's just a form of godliness. There's no substance in their life. They don't really love the Lord. There's no love for God. The Bible says to love God is to obey His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome. When we're born again, we're connected to the kingdom of God. The love of God is poured into our heart by the Holy Ghost. That's what it says in Romans chapter 5, verse 5. God's love is poured into our hearts. We are connected to the kingdom by the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost pours out the love of God into our hearts. And we love God. We obey God from the heart. We commit our lives to the Lord. And we deny ourselves. And we do battle for the kingdom of God. There's souls out here that's on their way to hell. There's souls out here that are on the broad way that leads to destruction. And the Lord wants to use us to kind of shake them where they can wake up. The Lord wants to use us to step in their way and shake them and wake them up with the gospel truth of salvation. To warn them that there is a judgment day. To warn them that there is a day of accountability. Because Jesus wants souls to be saved. God saves us so that he can use us to save others. We was once sinners, dead in our trespasses and sins. But God, by the Holy Ghost, through the Lord Jesus Christ, saved us. Now we're born again. Now we're God's children. We are no longer sinners like we used to be. We don't practice sin anymore. We practice righteousness. We live for God in, in the heart. It's of the heart we believe on the righteousness. We live our life committed to God from the heart. The Bible says with the heart you believe unto righteousness. So when you truly believe in the Lord, you begin to live righteously. You come out of the darkness. You depart from iniquity just like the Bible says. Let those who name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Those who really belong to the Lord, they depart from iniquity. The Bible says in 1 John 3, 3, that those who have this hope in him, they seek to purify themselves just like he is pure. And it's talking about those who have the hope of salvation. They seek to purify themselves. They come out of the darkness. They come out from amongst them and they be separate. They are no longer unequally yoked together with the world. They have come out of the world and they have been brought into the kingdom of God. And now they proclaim the praises of him who brought them out of darkness into the marvelous light of Jesus Christ. We proclaim the praises 
of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the world, they think we're strange. The world, they think we're weird. And uh, we reach out to people and we tell them what the Bible says because we are about our Father's business. Just like Jesus said, I must be about my Father's business, where well, we too, as children of God, must be about our Father's business, and our Father is in the business of reaching souls. Our Father is in the business of bringing souls into the kingdom. Our Father is in the business of snatching the devil's children and get them cleaned up and get them born again and brought into the kingdom of God. God is in the business of making men a new creation in Christ. Yet, we have to be willing to be about our Father's business and work for the kingdom of God because there is a work to do down here. Be blessed today. I admonish you and encourage you in the Lord Jesus Christ to be faithful to God to stir yourself up don't let apathy get a hold of your heart stir yourself up in love and good works get with other believers that can exhort you where you can exhort them and you can build one another up to go out there and do battle for the kingdom of God be blessed in Jesus mighty name